É, o senhor deve ter visto as imagens do 7 de setembro aqui no Brasil, as multidões, principalmente no Rio de Janeiro, mas também em Brasília. O presidente Bolsonaro foi acusado de politizar uma efeméride tão importante, pelos 200 anos, inclusive, da nossa independência. Essa imagem, essas pessoas, o que Bolsonaro disse aquele dia, o que, o que elas dizem para o senhor em termos da democracia brasileira e de quem é Bolsonaro como líder político? That last one is a biggie. Um, look, it is uh, it's unfortunate and uh, and uh, for, for any politician to politicize a national holiday um, and and uh, and try to make it an electoral or political issue. Um, it it it's not to be applauded. It's to be criticized. Many many politicians, however, do it. Politicians across the political spectrum, across Latin America and the United States often very often make use make political use of holidays so it's it's not great but what bolsonaro did uh is pretty common um what i thought was really interesting about this this date um in, in fact in the last two years there was for good reason brazilians were very worried about what bolsonaro might do last year and this year uh and he turned out not to be able to do very much um, he's, he has never been able to, to mobilize large numbers of people against democratic institutions as he's occasionally threatened to do. And so, so far, he, um, I view the last two uh, uh, in, 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 national holidays in September as, um, as cases in which um, the autocrat really wasn't able to do the damage that he, that he hoped to do and that many people feared he would do. What is Bolsonaro as a uh, as a politician? Um, I think he's a he's a pretty below average politician, a pretty mediocre politician, uh, pretty stupid politically at times. Um, I, I think he he had a he could have um, done much much more to consolidate power in the first couple of years of his presidency than he did. But he made a series of decisions that kind of isolated himself and alienated himself from Congress, um, and, and I'm very happy that he's an inept politician. I think, it, thank God, that Bolsonaro is a pretty inept politician because he is the most openly authoritarian figure to be elected in any Western democracy I know of in the, the 21st century. This is a guy who doesn't even pretend to be democratic. He's a, a guy who doesn't even pretend to be committed to equal rights, to human rights, to press freedom. He's a guy who has applauded every coup he has seen. Um, and so this was a really dangerous figure that Brazilians elected in 2018. Had he had the power that Hugo Chavez accumulated, that Rafael Correa accumulated, that Viktor Orban accumulated, that, that Putin accumulated, had he ever had that power, had he ever had the talent that Orban or Putin had or that Chavez had, he would have done much, much more damage to Brazilian democracy. But luckily, he's a pretty mediocre, pretty, at times, pathetic political figure. And that may have saved Brazilian democracy.